Are we watching the death of software engineering or the birth of its golden age? While executives at companies like Salesforce brag about firing engineers or replacing them with AI, the CEO of GitHub, a platform where over 100 million developers actually build software, just dropped a total truth bomb that should wake every business leader up. So what if the companies laying off developers right now are making the biggest strategic mistake of their careers? What if AI doesn't replace engineers, but actually could multiply their impact so dramatically that smart companies need more more engineers, not fewer. And what if this whole AI will replace programmers narrative is just another tech bubble waiting to burst? I've got a lot of news here for you, so let's dive in. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Pack, we love to build software developers as well as to uh, train software developers as well as to build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. So GitHub CEO Thomas uh, Domke, I think is how you say his name, just made a statement that flies in the face of every replacement story ever you, you hear out there. He says, quote, companies that are the smartest are going to hire more developers because if you're 10 times a single developer, then 10x developers can do 100x. End quote. Now, today we're going to break down why this matters for your business and why the current wave of engineering layoffs might be the costliest mistake that these companies could ever make. So let's jump into this a little bit here. And I want to pull up the article here and, and talk through this, because I think, again, this could be some of the either biggest mistakes that people are making or else uh, one of the best, you know, opportunities here. So GitHub C CEO, and this is GitHub, right? Like it'd be different if it was like, flowers are us or something but the github like this is github CEO, ceo saying that the smartest companies will hire more software engineers not fewer as ai develops man i love pop-up ads they're my favorite thomas Dom domkey i think is how you say it the CEO of GitHub says the smartest companies will hire developers in the face of AI. He said that in a podcast interview with AI, uh, that AI makes engineers more efficient, not irrelevant. AI isn't yet capable of training, of completely eliminating engineering workload, he added. Now, he talks about this and he says the companies that are the smartest are going to hire more developers because if you can 10x a single developer, then 10 developers can do 100x more. Now, I don't know of any developers out there who are sitting around there twiddling their thumbs. Every company I know of wish they could hire more developers and figure out how to get more developers to get more done. So why would we already be talking about removing developers? I'm with, I'm totally with this guy. He says, the most frustrating thing when you're learning something is that you're, uh, you're stuck somewhere and then you have nobody at home or in your family or friends that can help you with that because they are all non-technical. Now, I'm gonna be honest, like I started my computer programming, uh, computer science uh, degree at ASU in 1999. At the time, I had exactly two programming books that I got to learn from. And I had a laptop that was a single core with 128 megs of RAM, I remember. I bought it just to be able to start the course. And it cost me a ton of money. I think it cost like 1,200 bucks at the time. And I was trying to learn to program Java and, I, there, and there was no Google. And I tell my kids that all the time and they're like, no Google. So you use like chat GPT. I'm like, no, 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 there wasn't that either. So like this. And so what he's talking about here is he says, so when we're saying that AI is democratizing access, that's what we mean. Everyone who wants to learn it can learn it. And I agree with that. I had a one commenter who just commented on my uh, post today on one of my videos. And he was talking about how he actually was spending 16 hours a, a, a day gaming and how instead he's spending less than one or two hours a day gaming now and is using AI to teach him how to program. That's amazing. And I think that's awesome. And that's exactly what he's talking about here. He says, I think the idea that AI without any coding skills lets you just build a billion dollar business is a mistake because it would be, if that would be the case, everybody would do it. That's the part. I saw another uh, uh, tweet go out on the, uh, out on, well, it's not a tweet. It's a post on X now, sorry. Still refer to them as tweets sometimes. Um, but a post on X went out the other day and somebody said, I want to know one application that somebody in my readers has built and gone production without any I intervention. And literally, there's tons of people who are like, my monkey's uncle's sister's brother's dog did it, and a ton of that kind of stuff. But he's like, no, and the post or original poster was actually really, he was pretty hard on people. He was like, and the guy's like, well, I know my roommate did it. And it's like, no, did you do it? And so, you know, I, I'm with him here. They're really, that really is not the case. We're just not seeing it. And so this myth and the problem with the, with the myth right now is that there's too many non-technical executives who are listening to this hype and believing it. And so that's the problem here is that it, my years in development has taught me that technology amplifies human capabilities. It doesn't replace human judgment. 
Now, junior developers can learn in months what used to take years. So my sitting there, my story with like me trying to learn, I remember my very first programming class. Now, I'd been programming in basic and then individual basic for years uh, as a teenager. And then when I, uh, and then when I was starting out of college, I jumped into computer science. And as I was going to start to learn Java, I just remember just sitting there pounding and trying over and over and just literally gutting it out. That's not the case anymore. A junior developer should never be stuck. They can feed a program to the AI. They can jump into chat groups. They can, there's so many different ways to do this now. So the democratization of coding access doesn't eliminate the need for expertise. It should increase demand for mentors and technical readers. So in my experience, when we've had new team members become productive faster, because if we pair them with AI, they can get to it faster. And here at Startup Hack, where we're training software developers, we tell them all the time that, look, we provide you a tutor, which is great because a human cannot be replaced. But if you're stuck on little things, definitely use AI. So with every one of our tutors, we provide them access to Gemini Pro 2.5 so they have access to it. So the barrier to entry is lower, but the ceiling for what is possible is dramatically higher. Let me say that again. What you can do with AI becomes easier. What you can accomplish becomes even more. Smart companies are using this to build deeper, more capable engineering teams faster than their competitors. And that's where we're going to see the differentiation. We're going to see those people who are trying to hire one developer and do it all with AI. And those are going to be the ones who are turning out crappy looking uh, stuff that looks exactly like everybody else's. Or you can see those that are actually hiring engineers, they're using AI intelligently, and they're gonna be the ones who are producing real quality software. <clears throat> so here's what nobody talk, is talking about. AI is, or, and this is a quote from, uh, from Dom Key. AI has already added more work to the backlogs. I haven't seen companies saying, well, we're draining all of our backlog and we have nothing left. That's totally true. I've never seen any company who doesn't have a backlog just because they have AI. AI doesn't reduce the amount of software needed. It reveals how much more software companies actually need to stay competitive. Every productivity gain from AI gets immediately consumed by new requirements, feature requests, and business opportunities like how to integrate AI into your systems, right? So when we implement AI tools, we, needed, we didn't need fewer engineers, we need more because we need these engineers to start to work with AI. We have a great example of one of my clients that we worked with and we implemented an AI agent form where we started doing data matching that was only being done by humans. And we reduced about 30 to 40 hours worth of work. Guess what? Not a single person got laid off. They were actually able to just do more for their clients because they weren't doing this minutia work. The companies laying off engineers and even humans at any level will hit a wall when they realize that their backlogs are growing, not shrinking. In my experience, building systems demand for software always exceeds our ability to supply it. AI just makes that gap more obvious. Now, next thing he says, quote, the idea that AI will, without any coding skills, let you just build a billion dollar business is a mistake, because if that'd be the case, everybody would be doing it. And that's again, a D and the differentiate those who have the human engineers versus those who are trying to just replace uh, humans with AI. Now, if your company has systems that aren't connected, make sure you reach out to us because here at Startup Hack, our specialty is connecting systems so you can work to maximum efficiency. Check out startuphack.com slash Spencer because we can help you. <clears throat> now, Domkey says, I think it's a temporary effect right now. This is the natural consequence for the short term. We keep things stable and we're trying to figure out how to, uh, the market develops. But temporary can become permanent competitive disadvantage. Let me state that. If you stay in that state and you don't hire and you try to think AI is going to just do the same amount of work with fewer developers, you're going to end up as a disadvantages. Companies are treating AI like a cost cutting tool instead of a capability multiplier. That's backwards thinking. The hiring freezes happening now are driven more by economic uncertainty than actual AI capabilities. So let's look at some of the one of the latest examples. Microsoft just laid off a pile of people, right? And everybody's like, oh, see, they know that AI is coming. It has nothing to do with it. Even the internals are that they're flattening their org structure because they'd bloated up too much because of COVID over hiring. And now they're voting people off the island, which is just like the analogy says from Survivor, right? They go back to tribal council and they vote them off. They did it in January. They did it in May. They did it in June. They did it in July. They just keep voting people off the island. So they're voting people off the island to trim down. And on top of it, meanwhile, they're spending like crazy on their AI infrastructure. And it's not because they uh, because that is now producing that same technology. They're just making choices to spend and leverage and build data centers. So Domke says, but very quickly, I think we're going to see people that say, well, wait a second. If I have one more productive developer, why wouldn't I hire another one and then another one? So while GitHub CEO says hire more developers, Salesforce CEO 
is saying that they're not going to be hiring any more developers because he likes to lie through his teeth and he's actually offshoring everything to India. There's a lot of other things and I'm doing some research on Salesforce right now and some of their really poor practices. Salesforce claims, quote, increased the productivity this year with agent force with other AI technology that we're using for engineering teams by more than 30, but uh, more than 30%, but 30% productivity is, means should be hiring more, not fewer engineers. Companies bragging about laying off engineers while their competitors are building AI enhanced super teams will regret this decision. Salesforce is betting, betting their entire technical future on overseas engineers and on AI agents replacing human engineers. This is a terrible decision, as if Salesforce wasn't a terrible company anyways, and now they're even making it more terrible. AI generated code often works per perfectly on the happy path, but fails catastrophically on the edge cases and error conditions. I just did a video yesterday uh, uh, or day before yesterday about some of the failure rates that Carnegie Mellon is showing and it's staggering. And this is on very simple tasks, not on anything complex. So if you're developing with AI, it can be very useful. You have to do it very carefully. If you're blindly hooking up AI agents into your systems, you're going to be met with some very bad surprises. The hidden technical debt from poorly implemented AI solutions will create massive costs down the road. And guess who they're going to hire to fix those problems? Smart companies are going to use AI to accelerate experienced developers, not replace their critical thinking. So Domkey goes on to say, as technology continues to evolve, uh, so will the capabilities of engineers. And this is a key insight that executives are missing. AI doesn't make developers obsolete. It evolves their role. It's part of the reason why what we're seeing is we're seeing a dr dramatic drop in software engineers, right? And, and everybody's like, see, the market's crashing. But what nobody's counting is this other side of AI engineers that have grown over 400% in postings this year alone. The market value of developers who understand both AI capabilities and limitations is skyrocketing. Companies cutting engineers teams now are eliminating their ability to capitalize on these skills. So if you've been laid off re recently, my advice, dive in and learn how to program with AI. Not program using it as a crutch, I mean how to build stuff on AI. Dive in, I've got a ton of tutorials on how you can build your own server for under $500, your own AI server. And then I give you free code samples that you can start and you can start to write your own stuff. You, I'm doing one right now that will be out in the next couple of days about how to use RAG and how to build your own RAG system. And if your company needs help with some of this kind of stuff, check us out at startuppack.com slash Spencer because we'd love to connect your systems. Now, the current engineering hiring slowdown isn't being driven by AI replacement. It's driven by interest rates and economic uncertainty. Economic cycles are temporary. They always come back. And I've seen this cycle through. This is my fourth major depression that I've seen in 25 years on software development. Now, this one's stretching out the longest because interest rates are staying high as long as they've ever been. I've done a previous video about that, but trust me on this. I've, I've analyzed the data and we've never had interest rates this high for this long in 25 years. You take every quarter and add up the, the interest rate for every quarter. This is the highest range we've had of interest rates and we've had it solid for three straight years. So it's not a wonder we're seeing that hit. So at some point you're gonna run into limitations. This is Dom key again. The prompt won't be enough. You'll need to understand the code, debug it and make it scale. And that's the biggest thing. These AI systems that are being built with AI agents will not scale. They will not scale. You will need to know the different uh, paradigms and the different uh, patterns and ideas and systems that you can innovate that an AI system is not gonna come up with you, come up for you. So the easier AI makes basic coding, the more valuable deep technical expertise is going to become. The gap between can prompt AI and can build scalable systems is where professional developers are going to dominate. So GitHub CEO obviously is no idiot, right? This is one of the most technical CEOs out there, and he has obvious financial incentives, right? Fewer developers means fewer GitHub users. And that's not necessarily true because fewer GitHub users might be fewer GitHub humans, but his technical arguments are really sound. 90% of code will be written by agents, but if the total amount of code grows 10x, the developers still write the same amount as they did before. There's just more work overall. And that's from Donkey. Companies betting on AI only solutions are gambling their technical infrastructure on unproven capabilities. Smart money is, aug is on augmentation, not replacement. So it's the most exciting time to be a developer, he said, and I echo that statement. Companies need technical leaders who understand both AI capabilities and limitations to guide implementations. So if your company needs help, reach out to us because here at Startup Pack, we love to train software developer developers. We are doing registered apprentice program for people, uh, for folks in Utah and in Idaho. 
So if you're in Utah and Idaho and you want to become a paid registered apprentice to be able to learn and get paid while you learn, reach out to us at startupack.com slash jobs. If you are interested in having uh, me or some of my team come and help you in implementing some of your systems, reach out to us at startupack.com slash Spencer. Now, I'm curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think Dom Key's wrong? Do you think the Salesforce CEO is wrong? Like, who do you think is right? I'd let, leave a comment down below. It's one of the best helps you can do. And make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. I'm getting comments from people all the time who are like, why doesn't this guy have more followers? He's totally spot on. Well, it's because you aren't sharing it. I need you to share it here. I need you to share with me and share this so that I can get, spread the word. So reach out to us because here at Startup Pack, we offer some great services and here's some more information about some of the things we can do to help your company. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As your fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Pack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com Spencer.